Hello, Intertubers, and welcome to uh, welcome back to K two forty. Um, we're going to um, what? I did not press save. Click right button to abort. Right, alien. So we we we've fought these guys last time, and fought is stretching it. They never bothered to actually put up a fight. So we'll go next for these guys, um, the ore eaters. I'm not going to pronounce that. So, yeah, they basically uh, eat ore, and this is bad because we want to mine it for profit, so they're just going to have to starve. Let's go. And uh, the Empire's been nice enough to give us gravity nullifier tech. Anyway, I think we all know how this starts now. Oops. Not by clicking on that, but... Um, Firstly, I put some money into construction so that I can build stuff. And, um, yeah, let's go. Maybe that's a mistake, I don't know. Should I put related buildings together? It means that they could all die to the same bomb. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, nice little solar power farm there. Hope no one bombs it. One, two, three, four. Construction your heart. That's too close to the edge? Well, how about here then? Sensor tower. I guess I can go there. Command center. Weapons factory. I'm very predictable, of course, mostly building stuff. Same place I built it last time. Hydroponics. Hydration plant. Life support. Protected environment control and the important and expensive gravity nullifier. Uh, I will put that there. Guess I can rename this place. Base asteroid. Uh, it's always exactly the same shape, which is a little bit weird. But it's probably good that it isn't randomly generated because that could result in some pitifully small ones. What's that then? Wait. I'm sure that's in the manual. And I guess I start as I did before. I'm gonna build three scout ships. Oh yeah, one thing I didn't mention, these aren't the only things you can put on ships. I click this button, you get more stuff. Unfortunately, it's not very interesting. There's shield X10, 20, and 30. They just add hit points to a ship. And I think it would be very silly to put those on a scout. <laughs> but it maybe makes sense with the larger ships to beef them up a bit. But I won't be doing that right now. Okay, so that will cost me 9,000. So I guess I need to uh, put money in the vehicle fund. What I really need now is, um, yeah. Asteroid a new asteroid. Let's see, how big is it? 
Uh, it's, it's, I'd say small, but not so small. That's uh, to be useless. It really depends what's in it. Okay, eight days till I get a scout. So an interesting thing is that uh, all the animations in this game are done by colour cycling. That uh, includes blinking windows on some of the buildings, which we don't have here, the blinking landing pad. Um, and these mines, which actually do a fairly decent job of uh, making it look like they're moving up or down, but it's just colour cycling. Right. I guess I'll... Uh, Go see what's up with that asteroid, mate. Attention. And yep, yeah, we get three ships. Uh, hopefully they're good. But we'll see. Just checking here, yeah, we are. Ooh, that's, we've just barely got enough power. I don't quite trust that, so I'm going to build just a few more. Um, solar panels. Mostly so I can lose a few and not suffer low power. Yeah, that thing is working, so that's good. Where should I explore? Mm -hmm. How about there? Seven days. So where are the ships, by the way? Oh, they're all the way over there. It's going to take them some time. Actually, if I click on this, you get to see the scout land. And, uh... Scout trip. Ha! That was a good place to scout, wasn't it? But now I really do have to uh, make a choice. Which one do I want to um, look at? You know what, I'm going to make three more scouts. Ah, right, yes. Uh, I should extract, where is it, the uh, ship button? So I can click on this scout. Stop patrolling there and tell it to survey this other asteroid. Once again, I made a poor choice in where to put my landing pads. I can barely see them to click on them. Attention. Okay, for the moment I'm just going to sell almost everything for profit. Ha, huh, two ships, so that means, yes, maybe explore here. Okay, that one is pretty good, although lack of crystallite is faintly annoying. If I'm here, I should start looking for the enemy round about there. Oh, 
That was huge. That's what she said, of course. And that one, that's a decent size, so I'd be pretty happy with any of these. And I'm just going to go for the one that will make me rip the most money. And we have some ships. Yep, we're going to call those guys Fleet 1. I do not want to do that, but uh, maybe that's why you should uh, keep the construction budget at zero and not using it. So let's see what I got. Uh, where is that button? The fleet button. So, Terminator. Iron Cannon Vortex Mine Destructor Napalm Orb. All uh, <coughs> space to ground weapons. Quite clearly a bomber and a reasonable one. Vortex Mine. Chaos Bomb Photon Cannon Disruptor Shield. So we got one ship to ship weapon. Two, three, if we count the lasers. And a chaos bomb. I mean, that's roughly half fighters and half bombers. Ooh. And I think there was a scout ship in that fleet as well. Not absolutely sure. Attention. Right. Yeah, load that guy up. Wrong button again. Uh, this is where you extract him. So I can remember where they are. <laughs> oh, so I don't need to remember. Attention. Right, but now... Geological report. JZT. Scout report. Geological report. Okay, that one's report. crap, so... I'll expand towards the centre, I think. Go over there, start new colony. But, um, Scout nice. Go survey it. I have to wonder why they can't do both at once. Scout report. Nice. Maybe into the bottom corner. All right, now going to build um, some fighters first, then maybe some bombers. So uh, the funny thing is, I was worrying about cost efficiency comparing photon cannons at four, five hundred, or plasma cannons, which cost uh, 9,000. Now it turns out that photon cannons, as well as being cheaper, also do more damage. Uh, that's probably a bug, but I'll never build a plasma cannon again. So let's build three of those.
Uh, I guess this guy can go home. That's a hint, actually. I see this scout ship of some kind. Basically going horizontally. So... That's where I'm going to scout next. 16. Geological report. Ah, what a pitiful little asteroid. Fifteen, and I also need one to go to fourteen. Right, this is new, isn't it? Uh, and it's small. But I should give it a chance. Like, it could have a very valuable ore on it. Probably won't, but it could. Whoa, jackpot! WHG721. Yeah, that is a thing that can happen. Asteroids float about in space and they can collide with other asteroids. And I think I've kind of bankrupted myself by uh, building such expensive ships when it's not clear that I need them. Like, where's my enemy? Now, seriously, where's my enemy? Attention. Actually, it would probably be better, I think, to leave the transporter at the colony and fill it up when I get this warning, still. We must go there. Complaining about the fund running low, but I think we'll actually finish. Hostile scout report. Hostile fleet approaching. Where, where is it approaching and does it matter? So first thing to do is um, add all these to Fleet 1. Geological report. Got to be ready for a fight here. Geological report. <laughs> Even that one unit of Nexos might be worth the entire colony. See if I. Uh... Right. Ah, the price is crazy. Four hundred thousand. Absolutely bonkers. Scout report. The fleet actually. Fleet arrived. Hits the asteroid before the enemy does. Attention. I think I'm going to have to abort this colony though. 
first let's see what we're all doing here. So, buildings with turrets on them will fire up at these ships. And my own ships will also fight. Okay, that was a pitiful invasion. And I'm going to punish it. No, this is bad. This is so bad. Like, I might even lose the transporter. Because I don't think there's any way to re recall a fleet. Once you give an order, you can't take it back. And these two asteroids are going to hit each other. Into this other asteroid, I can't. No, I can't even click on the one I want to click on. Okay. Well, I saved my transporter. Colonization report. But I fear, I fear the worst for this colony. Alert, alert. Yeah. <sighs> that sucks. Alert, alert. No, you don't say. Okay, that really sucks, but it's a thing that can happen. Alright, well. We'll fill this one up. Hmm. Dragonium, that's actually quite a lot of dragonium. And there is something I want to do here, which is build the orbital space dock, which needs 10 bitanium and 20 dragonium. Which, let me guess, I actually do have, like I could earmark some of that to not sell. No, uh, unload. Unloading works this way, All right? And uh, I start a colony there. This might be enough. I really hope not. And what is that? Is this what I think it is? Fleet arrived. Here's the enemy base. Turbine over. They have turrets, right? Yellow turrets and uh, red turrets. Which are potentially very powerful. They're both called turret though, as far as I can tell. Fleet's been cleaned up. They have a lot of stuff. Well, that's kind of embarrassing. Very unlikely that the air vortex disappeared. Well, you know, these aren't a pushover. Guess I should just keep going. Attention. Let's make sure this ship is empty. Yes, it is. Welcome to SciTech. So 
over the matrix. Going to start buying stuff from SciTech. This one is uh, ready, so. Colonization report. Checking this one. It's a very mini McCartney. Uh, I don't need to build, yeah, because of the uh, technology I bought. Power plants are now very efficient, so. Attention. Base. So. Sound keeping exactly ten bitanium and twenty dragonium. The reason being. That's the cost of the orbital space dock. Did I survey this big one? So there's a ship on the way back from having surveyed it. Yeah, that's where a ship dumps its stuff. Just checking ship is empty. Yards need more titanium. Oh, they say that. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's go here. We will need a gravity nullifier. Two resi blocks, medical center. Scout report. Okay. Geological. Ooh. We will definitely go there next. Decontent filter. I guess it's just barely worth building. So yeah, I can now build solar matrices and protected solar matrices. The um, the advantage here, except for, apart from as well as them being very tough, is that they have a turret. And um, that turret's basically free. So mine. So how are we doing up here? Well, it's building. wonder what that space dock is good for. Hopefully that will become apparent soon. No, can't start a colony here. So the space dock is good for building um, bigger ships. Uh, we can build the destructor, which is, I think, a notice of improvement on the combat eagle, which has 40 armor and three hard points. Or the transporter, um, which requires one unit of dragonium. Do we have that? Yes, 
Yes, we do. Thankfully, I saved it. So I can build the transporter. And I think I do prefer to arm my transporters, just in case it meets an enemy transporter. Uh, the reason for that is, like, this is my first transporter is starting to feel overworked, you know, ferrying stuff around. Just need to check it is EWL, that is um, a super rich one with the Traxium, yeah. So uh, I should mention it's not just transporters and destructors. If I go backwards here, missed it. Terminator, that's an even better ship with four hard points and um, although it's kind of expensive, Actually, since it gets an F, I should probably um, stop here. The fleet battleship. Uh, just the blueprint for this will cost all the money I have. Anyway, this is cheap and cheerful, and I will buy it. Improved sensors. Attention. Start new colony, and then I think go here. Colonization report. Improved sensors. Mm, nice, I guess. I have to be a bit careful now about Dragonium since it's used to build big ships. thing is well, this is kind of a very long term thing this has 10 tons of traxium in it which uh, if the prices don't change and they'll change a bit will sell for an absolutely ludicrous amount of money more money than I've ever seen problem is welcome to Cytex You need a special mine to mine it, and it's very expensive, but it would pay for itself without question, so I, I will be getting it. Attention. Ha, that's a very nice uh, thing to happen. We found more ore here. That's not bad at all. I think we found more of all eight ore types. So yes. Is there any hope of success here? We'll just fill this thing up. Send it back here. Yeah, that'll do, All right, so nullifier just for paranoia purposes ooh 90% radiation attention We better check, even though. Yeah, they now have a shield uh, generator of some kind. Attention. Yeah, that's the spiky thing, so they're going to be tough to kill. Anyway. Five of these, one, two. Security report. Crap. Three, four, five. And which is JZT? Well, 
No morale. Interesting. I thought I had enough security centers to keep these guys happy. Obviously, I was wrong. Let me check the base asteroid. Morale is fine. This is bad. Inbound missiles. Where are they going? Well, they're going a huge distance, so that means they're unlikely to do a ton of damage, but... Inbound missiles. They're going for the main base, which is sensible, to say the least. That was annoying, but if that's all they got, I don't think I need to worry. And um, now we can build some interesting ships. I guess the destructor. Like, I think it does actually make sense to splash out on a shield for these things. Yeah, it's time. Welcome to Cytex. It's going to take a while for this to pay off, but. I'm going to buy the seismic penetrator. Also, I'm going to build the base up a bit. So, more food, more air, so more water, more air. Another one of these, why not? I mean, two more resi blocks and I think a protected solar matrix to keep them all running. Attention. Timing seems quite good here. Welcome to Cytex. Any last minute purchases? Ah, I can't afford that, that's a shame. first. See, not a lot left. But one thing we absolutely must do now is click on the right asteroid. <laughs> and build the mighty seismic penetrator. I only really need one of these monsters. And that will hopefully mine out all the Traxium. Ah, 
Oops, no, dumping works this way around. Stores are full, well I can fix that. Bactanium is used only for space docks, so to run fleet one. But the destructors, yeah, they can also join Fleet One. Attention. Oh, that is a extremely helpful. This will keep on mining for some time then. So Fleet One. Y67, I'm confused, and Fleet 2. Fleet 2 seems a bit anemic, actually. I'll build some glass cannons. Attention. Yeah, and this guy can go back. Asteroid discovered. Colonization report. Scout report. Scout report. Check this one out and I will. Scout report. I fear we've been spotted here. Um, Scout report. Might have to care about defense really soon. out on that because it's cheap and building armor. See if I'm going to be attacked, tougher buildings would be nice. And this is a little unfortunate. That's not the target. Then I, I can breathe a bit more easily. In that case, I want to build. Mines, deep bore mines. The usual. And this time, I want to build a weapons factory. Inbound missiles. Inbound missiles. 
are they going here? They are, right. Fortunate. Just in case one of them is extremely dangerous, then I'm going to have the transport bug out. Because there are missiles that can damage ships in orbit. Well, we're holding. Did they get the medical facility? Production is fine. So we dodged a bullet with that one. Attention. This place has no power. Right, well. Attention. Right, so this one. Asteroid discovered. Awesome, right. Got to unload here. <coughs> Never mind. Actually, I should. If I'm going, to, this is this is going to seriously be the uh, the drop-off point then. Let's just build another one. <sighs> Security report. So track a building armor, right? a lot of quasic and um, I'm going to hold on to some of it. I'm also going to fetch these, this, including the uh, very valuable Traxium. Take it to base. If this works, then... So, let's talk about missiles. Um, missiles are useful for bombing an enemy asteroid. Uh, so, explosive missiles are absolute trash. They're mostly good for basically overwhelming enemy uh, anti missile defense. How much quasink is there? One has been mined. Eleven remains. So that's good. Although I think I might want to help this along its way with a few more mines. We're that rich then. Let's just check on what we've got now. Destructor. In fleet one, yes. So that's fleet one. That's fleet two. Yeah, fleet one needs a bit more meat, I think. Now, it, it, an interesting option would be to uh, buy a shield for the combat eagle and make it uh, 80. I'm not going to do that, and the reason I'm not going to do that is kind of dumb because there's a bug in the game 
which uh, does not, which causes a slight problem with uh, small ships with shield, small ships with shields, or anything which uh, increases their armor, which is that the repair facility gets very confused and. Uh, Hold on. I need to build two more security centers. Not sure how I missed that. And, uh, you know what, just for fun, just for funsies, why don't I build some destructive bombers? In this case it probably does make sense to put the shield on them. Attention. Wait. Oh, I forgot, ship is here, so unload the tracks here. And the, and the other stuff, but, uh, Look at the tracks here. a lot of quasic, isn't it? Security report. Right, that... Attention. Yeah, that's a lot, and I think my money problems are basically over at this point, so... <laughs> yeah. So now it's time to hit up Skytech and, and basically Welcome clear out the wish list. Yep, I'll take those. I'll take those better mines. Uh, Asteroid engines, a fun toy, yes. Cheap and cheerful, yep. Deflector, maybe not. Not yet. Should have got that earlier. And repair facility, that's very important. Static inducer is a fun toy. And Terminator. Now, if I can't beat the enemy with uh, all this tech, then uh, why am I even playing? I think I should rename this actually. It seems I built up a little too quickly with that surface actually. Geological. Whoa, PFK, more Traxian. And that's fairly small, which is a problem for defensibility, but what? Start colony. And I guess we can go here. But the missile base is actually using Colonization most report. of what it mines. Missile pods need more quasink. Perhaps I should try to get my act together and, you know, bring some over. So yeah, that's the trouble with the missiles from my point of view. They're kind of expensive. But 
but time yet. Uh, this will be ready really soon, so... So, let's go. Um, So I'm going to try missiles now. Explosive, air explosive, napalm, set target here. to send fleet one here. And fleet two. And now it's time to watch the fun. Ooh, they have some big ships. Napalm. Oh, that's the money shot right there. Meteor storm. Somehow not dead. I mean, yeah, that cluster with the shield generator survived. time but this guy's already here with the tracks here so last minute purchase is time welcome to Cytex don't need that don't really need that would be fun I'm gonna get. That's so tempting. I mean, that's that's the correct decision. But what I'm actually gonna get is the battleship and the deflector. Right, yeah, it's bringing so much stuff. Do I have six Dragonium? I mean, that thing's quite expensive in weird-ass ores. Yes, I do, then. Probably won't get to see it, which is a real shame. Take the Traxium, which has gone up to a really high price. Take the Vitanium, which doesn't seem to have any use. You know what? 
I'm going to actually be clever and load Quasink into this ship. And dump the crystallite, of course. And go to the missile base. Watch this. They're trying to rebuild. Let's press how are they even alive? An environment processor turret. Yeah, destroy whatever orbital thing they had. I think I've wiped out their sleep, so yeah, it's just bombing now. Awesome. And now the big question. Attention. What's that, it? Attention. It was. So, although these guys were much tougher than the uh, unpronounceable bugs we had to deal with, uh, they did go down to a missile bombardment followed by uh, a bunch of bombers. So uh, that's it for episode two. Uh, in episode three, we're actually getting some real opposition. So that should be fun. See ya.